Welcome in to the show. I appreciate you joining me on this Monday morning. Um, I know I was out all of last week. It was a weird, long week. Uh, I was fixing up, redoing my apartment, kind of. But, got a new webcam. Hopefully it sorts out kind of my lag issues that I had with the uh, with the, the Apple, just my MacBook uh, <laughs> camera, which obviously wasn't very good, and one of my good friends was nice enough to just give me this, so hopefully it works out. We'll see. Um, I'm not sure my computer's powerful enough to kind of handle it, so we'll just give it a test run this week and kind of see what happens. If I'm looking down, it's just because it's the first time I'm trying to just get my bearings. I decided to do it standing up. See, I built this beautiful wall behind me of these little mini pennants. You got the college over here and the NFL over here. And uh, I, I thought this would be kind of a great set for the show. And, uh, and I'm really looking forward to doing it like this every night, just kind of standing up and chatting. I think it, it kind of is more natural for me when I talk standing up rather than than sitting down i don't know i just feel i just feel less pressure kind of able to to kind of speak my mind more uh when i'm standing up all right got a lot to talk about today there's gonna be two videos today i'm gonna do this one sports one now and then later on today probably around two or three i will release uh me discussing the democratic debates on here uh, because obviously I didn't do a show last week because I was doing all this, and so I, I didn't uh, I didn't get a chance to talk about it, but I wanted to. That'll just be brief, maybe five or six minutes. I just had some some thoughts on some things. But first, we got to get to NBA free agency. Absolutely wild day in the NBA. Brooklyn cleans up. Kyrie, KD, DeAndre Jordan. And the one that's kind of being overlooked is Garrett Temple. See, the issue when you have these super teams is that you often don't get, you know, that fourth or fifth guy that's really going to help out your team. You look at Brooklyn, even without KD, Kyrie, Garrett Temple, DeAndre Jordan, they have Dinwiddie, they have uh, Jarrett Allen. This team is quality all the way through all the way through their bench everything it's stunning how much depth and how much talent this team has i think brooklyn right now even if Kawhi goes back to toronto i think i don't see how brooklyn isn't the favorite in the east just an enormous amount of talent and and obviously the depth that i mentioned that you don't normally see on these super teams i mean you even go back to the Cavs with lebron obviously kevin love and kyrie i mean they were bringing you know, Matthew Della Vadova off the bench, and they were, you know, starting Tristan Thompson, who I, I guess had a couple good years, but anybody can have a good year when you're just receiving alley-oops from LeBron. So, really unbelievable job by Brooklyn to kind of pull off this, I guess you could call it a coup, and, and uh, really amazing. Good for them. Um, I, I know, I'll let, uh, I'll let you go listen to Stephen A. on the Knicks. I won't rant, because... He ranted better than I could on it, and he's absolutely right. Um, Stephen A's right sometimes, too. Uh, I don't actually hate Stephen A. I think he's funny. Um, but the the Knicks just really screwed up. Elsewhere, you got Jimmy Butler going to Miami, it looks like, in kind of a sign-and-trade deal there. Uh, the Mavs are kind of the third team in that, and it looked like at first it was going to be Goran Dragic going to Dallas. But now it might be Kel, uh, Kellen Olenek and Kelly Olenek, my, my bad, and uh, Derek Jones. But now Dallas or Miami's saying they never agreed to send Derek Jones, so who knows what's going to happen. Uh, that, that's all kind of still up in the air, and you're wondering if that Jimmy Butler deal is even going to happen because uh, Miami has to clear a ton of cap space for that to go through. So we'll see. The Kawhi sweepstakes are still out there. We don't know what's going to happen there. The other big one that did happen, D'Angelo Russell goes to Golden State. It's an interesting one. D'Angelo Russell's a guy who a couple years ago, it looked like his career might be on the downturn. He might be in a lot of trouble. His career might never actually get off the ground. Then he goes to 
um, to Brooklyn and resurrects everything, really plays well there, leads them to the playoffs, and now he's headed to Golden State. It's interesting because he, especially in Brooklyn, was the ball-dominant guy. He's the guy who's, who's you know, handling the ball. He's the guy scoring. He's kind of doing it all for Brooklyn. And so you're sending him out west now to a team with Draymond, to a team with Steph Curry. And obviously, Clay won't be back for probably all of this year, certainly the vast majority of it. So you wonder, you, you think that he probably wouldn't have accepted that deal unless he wants to kind of be in that team mindset. So you have to believe that he definitely wants to be there um, and and he's willing to kind of adapt to that team mindset rather than just the, than just kind of the ball dominant guy that he was in Brooklyn. It's to me it's a little bit like Russell Westbrook, maybe slightly less so. But like you can't see Russell Westbrook going to Golden State. He's not that type of player. He's a he's a ball dominant. I'm gonna get my my triple double kind of guy, uh, but not necessarily uh, to fit in that team kind of concept. So I'm interested to see what happens there. Um, and that's all I have on the NBA for now. I'll probably delve more into it tomorrow uh, because there's not much going on right now. And I want to talk a little bit about the soccer over the weekend. We had Copa America going on. Uh, all f- all the quarterfinals are done. Now we're headed to the semifinals. Only two total goals were scored in the quarterfinal games, both by Argentina um, as they won and moved on. You also had um, Brazil knocking out Paraguay on penalties. You had um, Uruguay knocking Colombia out on penalties, or was it? Well, now I can't remember. Now I can't remember. <laughs> oh, well. Um, the the key takeaway here is that Brazil and Argentina are playing in the Copa America semifinals. Always the best. I mean, that's the biggest rivalry, certainly in South America, maybe the biggest international rivalry in the world. Uh, because obviously, you know, they play so often. You can say like England and France, but there's so many groups in qualifying in Europe that they often don't end up in the same group and don't play a lot. So you can't really say that. Um, Brazil and Argentina always play and, and it's always a lot of fun when they do, cause that is a huge rivalry. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one. And in the other game for the life of me, I cannot remember. I, I think I'm fairly certain Uruguay won. And I think Colombia lost. Ugh. Man. Clearly, I've been, uh, I haven't done this for a week. I'm a little rusty. All right. Also, you had the Gold Cup. The U.S. survived Curaçao in a disgustingly, disgustingly terrible game. They didn't deserve to get a thing out of that game. They really, really were bad. Uh, Giassi Zardes is one of the worst strikers that, um, Greg Berhalter could have chosen. Gosh, I feel like this is really going to have a bad lag. Um, I think it's too, might be just too powerful for, hold on, let me, let me just finish. Okay. And you also had the, um, you also had the other games. Mexico survives Costa Rica on penalties. They didn't look great either. So I'm interested to see if Mexico, they should beat Haiti. The U.S. should beat Jamaica, but the way we played today, I don't see, uh, I mean, I don't see that that's a guarantee. It should be a really close, close game, tightly fought, and, and we'll see if we can come out on top. I have no belief that we will, quite frankly. Um, so we'll see Mexico, Haiti, U.S., Jamaica to go to the final. Finally, you had the U.S. women playing Friday against France. They won. Uh, 2-1, it was an okay game, uh, it, it really wasn't that exciting for all the build-up, and then also you had England moving on, so it's the U.S. versus England, and then Sweden versus, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> disjointed show today, sorry, 
you had Sweden versus the Netherlands is the other one. And it's interesting because you look, you expect the U.S. to win, although England's been really good. England's a good team and could certainly beat them. But Sweden's the, the, the team they played in the uh, group stage that they barely beat, really struggled with. And I think Sweden could give the U.S. a run for their money. The Netherlands are kind of the upstart team. They've never been in the semifinals before, so we'll see if they can come through. It's funny, I was watching the Sweden-Germany game, the end of it, and Sweden had nine girls out there on the pitch with blonde hair and a ponytail, and they, they were all kind of moving in unison, all these blonde ponytails, as they were all running around the field. It was pretty funny to watch. Um, also, the All-Star Game's coming up, and I will kind of discuss the rosters at some point this week and, and who got snubbed and who's who's good and, and, and who you know, who deserved it and who didn't. That's all I have. I hope this whole camera thing works out. If it's a little messed up, just bear with me and I will fix it as we go. I'm trying to decide on kind of resolution and things like that because my computer's not super powerful, nor does it have a lot of storage these days. So I'm just trying to get it all sorted out. So if it's bad, bear with me and hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, geez, hopefully by Friday morning, we can sort this whole thing out. I hope you like the new background. I'm still sorting out the light situation over here, so hopefully this will be kind of less of a less of a thing, and you can kind of see these more vividly. I hope that you enjoy the new backdrop. I'm sorry I was gone for a week, but I hope kind of this whole new setup makes it <clears throat> makes it okay. Thanks for watching. Check out my other Democratic debate video later on today assuming all this goes well and I can actually get it uploaded. Have a wonderful Monday. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when we are live every morning, every weekday morning at 6 a.m. And I will see y'all tomorrow.